What's going on, guys? Jordan here, coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Reviews. Tonight, we're going to be reviewing another Firestone Walker IPA. This one specifically is the California IPA. This is coming in at 6.5% ABV, and yeah, that's pretty much it. The can is interesting. We got like a little lion character there, and then on the other side, we got a bear. I guess they're about to battle. Uh, also, I really like this can as well, just to, like I've liked the other cans. All of these cans are really cool. This one gives me more of a vintage, classic, old-style beer can or something like that. Uh, not old style the beer, like old style as in the way they used to make cans back in the day. So we're going to crack into this. This is another beer out of their variety pack that I picked up the other day at Walmart. Uh, so far it's been a pretty hot start to this pack. Uh, both, both beers that I've tried so far have been really good. So we'll see what this one's like. Oh, I can smell the hops from here. These are all West Coast style IPAs, by the way. This one's got just a very, very slight cloudiness to it. About mm, four finger head on that. Immediately hop aroma. Smells pretty much like you would expect it to smell. Like it smells like a West Coast style IPA. Well, I really smell it now. I swear, if anybody's done that, comment below. That's always, always a uh, not a good thing when you snort the the foam up the nose. Well, I can smell it now for sure. Cause half of it's in my nose right now. Jesus. But uh, yeah, it's got definitely a pretty pungent hop aroma to it. This one actually might have the most dank type aroma to it out of the, out of the, well, I guess the three so far. But we're going to go ahead and dive into this one. Cheers, guys. Okay. Uh, this one's got a funk to it. It kind of tastes like what body odor smells like. Uh, I don't even know. We're going to try this again. No, you don't really, uh, it's not, it's not overly bitter or anything, but it has a funk to it. And that funk literally does taste like body odor smells. Not a fan of that whatsoever. That one's, that, th this one's weird. This one's very weird. Is there any ingredients list? Is there an ingredients list on here? No. Well, whatever the ingredient is that made that flavor, they could have done without that. I don't know. It's as far as alcohol goes, you kind of I, I kind of feel it more than I taste it. Okay, I have to try to compose myself here. Not not a fan of that. Like when you smell it, it kind of just smells like a regular West Coast style IPA, but then you, you taste it and it's just in your face, just body odor straight to the tongue. We'll go in for one more sip before we uh, conclude this beer review. It's also got kind of like a like a weird sweetness to it. I'm uh I'm not really happy with this one. I'm gonna hit this with a solid five out of ten. 
it's not doing it for me. I'm not saying it's the worst thing I've ever tasted, because it's not. It's just not for me. The other two were way better than this one. So this is definitely not one that I would pick up or recommend unless you like the taste of body odor. I guess, you know, we all taste things differently. That could just be my palate. Uh, but yeah, it, it tastes like body odor smells. So not a big fan of this one whatsoever. So this one is gonna get a thumbs down for me. Five out of 10, I'll give it, I'll give it that much. Uh, guess, I guess we'll call it five. We'll give it the extra point for the can design. The can's really cool, I guess. That, well, that's, that's why it's got the five. It, uh, I usually try to rate beers for how well they're made and everything, regardless of if, I, if they're my favorites or not. But I can't give this one any higher than a five. It's just not that good. It's got like a gross funk to it. That's just not, not my cup of tea or my cup, my glass of beer, if you will. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit me with a thumbs up. And if you guys have any suggestions on anything you would like me to try in the future, leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try to find it and give it a review. As always, until next time, cheers. Thanks for watching.